everyone, it's me again. Um, I'm making this video as a kind of, I don't know if I would call it a tutorial or um, a how-to really. I don't know, it's my first time doing this, but anyway. Um, uh, it's essentially me documenting my first time preserving um, a dead animal I had found. Um, I hadn't found a lot of stuff on this on the web actually not a lot of videos anyway I found some some text and whatnot uh, on how to do it but I never never found any educational videos on how to do it so I figured I'd make this documentation to help anybody who's interested in getting into uh, the whole hobby for me this is my first time uh, so hopefully I'm not too confusing or I do things okay so just bear with me um, I will be trying to preserve um, what I believe to be a short-tailed northern short-tailed shrew or it is a I have it written down somewhere here sorry a northern pocket gopher I'm not sure which one it is yet because I still have to do research on it originally I thought it was a mole a really weird looking mole but now I'm figuring out it may be something else but anyway it's not the point um, some people are a little bit put off, uh, on the whole idea and stuff. They kind of think it's a little strange or weird or morbid. Um, but I've always had, like, a really strange fascination with these kind of things. And, you know, I, I think it's still, like, a really interesting hobby, despite people thinking it's weird and whatnot or whatever. But, yeah, so, um, anyway, I'll show you what I got here. Sorry, it's nothing but bags for a second, but um, this is the little dude that I found. He's frozen right now. Um, that's a little pocket gopher or the shrew that I'm not sure what it is. See? Anyway, I found him um, on a, a path or an old railroad track um, really early in the morning with my friend Kayla. Bless her. She actually uh, told me originally that she saw a couple of these dead guys on the road. We found three that day, which was insane. I don't know how they all died, but anyway. Um, this guy looked like he had just died, which is the perfect thing for preserving animals because you need them really fresh. Otherwise, um, I have heard from some people that um, you can have issues with maggots and like you'll preserve the animal and then you'll find out later that they have maggots and everything and it'll, it'll just screw up your uh, preserving techniques. Um, so yeah, we are going to be putting him in this jar right here. So this is just an old salsa jar. Um, essentially try to use uh, a jar that's not too big, small enough, like big enough to put the animal in, but not too small. Um, as you can see, I got my alcohol. That's the next um, super important thing. It's a uh, uh, isopropyl alcohol. I think I'm saying that right. Um, I honestly don't think I'm going to need this much for a jar this size, but um, I thought I'd be prepared anyway and pick some up. Um, I also got some gloves because anytime you're touching something that's dead, any kind of animal that's dead, it's, you don't know what you're touching and stuff. You don't want to get a disease. Unfortunately, they carry diseases and everything, but you know, you can't help that. So be prepared and throw them out when you're done. I got this just in case I'm not even sure if I'm going to be able to use it or going to use it. Um, I heard sometimes when when, when you're um, when you're putting the alcohol and stuff in here, when the animal's in here, it kind of bobs around for a bit. So sometimes it's good just to push it down with a spoon. It eventually goes down, but anyway, yeah. So what I'm gonna do, um, I am just gonna go put this camera down on my stand, and I'm gonna get started by putting some gloves on. So bear with me. Just gotta reattach this camera the proper area. Now hopefully I position that right. So we have our gloves right here. We're going to put him on. I honestly think I'm only going to need one because I don't think I'm going to be using the other one really. I'm only using one hand right now. So this is the little guy right here. See his face. He's kind of cute actually. He's very very fluffy. Now that I look at him I think he's more of a shrew because he has a very velvety coat as you can see. Again, don't touch it with Bare hands, I should probably have something on my other hand. But uh, he's not squished in any way, so I'm really um, confused as to how he died. But anyway, he's frozen. You can put either fresh guys or frozen guys in here. I froze him because I couldn't preserve him right away because I had an ass load of things to do that day. So if you find a specimen that's very fresh, just 
put them in the freezer until you can get a jar and your alcohol. Um, so I guess you just position him as best you can. Hopefully you guys can see this. Just like that. Hopefully that's good. I, I'll probably use the spoon and whatnot to reposition him. No, actually I think that's okay. I don't really mind him like that. Anyway, that's him. Like that. He'll probably like, again, um, reposition himself later once he gets a little bit less frozen. So I'm going to take that glove off. I'm going to put it inside out like this so I'm not touching anything. And I'm going to put that in here. You can't see it, but it's the trash. Don't, don't touch it or anything. Just put it right in the trash. Now, what I'm going to do is open up this sweet bottle of alcohol. And this one is 50%. Um, you can get different types of them, like 70% and whatnot. I've heard of some people even mixing um, this alcohol with water to preserve some of their things. Um, I don't know how well that works out. Um, the guy who did that, um, or the video I watched with the guy doing that, um, he had um, uh, spiders and everything, uh, some of his old pets that he wanted to preserve to keep their memory alive. So I don't, I'm not going to dilute it in any way. I'm personally just going to use full alcohol. Um, I think, honestly, that's the best just for now. So I'm just going to open the bottle. And I'm just going to gently start filling this up, just like that. Again, I'm pretty sure he's probably going to start to bob and whatnot, or he might sink, or I really don't know. But you just keep pouring, just like that, very slowly. And he actually is staying down. That's, that's surprising. I didn't think he would do that, personally. But yeah, that's him. I'm just going to see. I think that's... I think I should probably fill it up a little more. I'm almost out. Um, yeah, that looks good. Sorry. I'm pretty much, that was almost the bottle. I have a little bit on the bottom right here. Like, maybe like this much. Um, but try to fill it up to the top pretty much. Giving maybe like a tiny bit of space. And you just close the jar like that. And voila! Got your own little preserved dude right there and you can keep him forever as far as I, I know from my sources they say that this type of alcohol will preserve them pretty much forever um but yeah so I'll give you a little bit of a better close-up of him I haven't named him yet I know that's kind of weird I tend to name my shit um like even my iPod has a name I named it Charles and my phone's name is Samuel, so this guy will most definitely um, get a name very shortly. I just kind of thought um, I'd uh, let him sit with me for a while and kind of see what name would suit him best. So, hang on, I'm just gonna whoops, <laughs> get the camera. So. I hope that helped you guys a lot. Um, I will post some links on the bottom of this video um, to um, some videos that really, really helped me. Um, one inspiration, actually, um, I don't know if many of you know him, but his name is Joji, or some people know him on DeviantArt as Gutterface. Um, he actually um, really got me inspired to do this, mainly. Um, I already have a lot of weird collections, but I've, I've always wanted to do preserved animals, and he actually um, uh, went on in his video about how you could just do it with alcohol, and that got me super excited, so thank you, Joji. I really appreciate for you um, helping me along with my project, and uh, I hope to find a lot more of these little cute little buddies. So um, if you have any questions, um, I'll try ha to help you out as best I can. Again, this is my first time doing this, so I might not be the most knowledgeable, but I'll do what I can. Take care, guys.